Hello everyone and welcome to my Autodesk Revit tutorial. In today's Autodesk Revit tutorial, I will show you how to create a custom Revit family that enables you to draw in L-shaped columns like this over here. And by the end of this Revit tutorial, you will be able to create L-shaped columns in Revit that are fully customizable in their dimensions. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. So let's proceed to the file tab over here and click on New over here, and choose Family. Scroll down to find Metric Structural Column over here. And click on Open over here. Alright, so once you've clicked on Open, you'll see a bunch of dimensions here. You'll see the Width, Depth, and these dimensions meaning Equal over here. First things first, get rid of these equal dimensions. We won't be needing that for now. Alright, so let's proceed to the Create tab on the top left over here. And let's click on the Model Line tool over here. So that we can draw in our L-shaped column outline. So I'll just draw it in like so. And hit Escape. Go back to Create. And create an extrusion over here. And let's choose the Pick Lines tool over here. And select the lines that we've drawn in. And click on Finish Edit Mode. Click on the 3D view. And you can see we have an L-shaped column, but then the heights are not correct yet. So let's proceed to an Elevation view. And let's drag this up to Upper Reference level over here. And now let us define the attributes of this column, such as the dimensions over here, such as the width and depth. And we need an additional dimension called thickness over here. So let's proceed to the annotate tab over here. And let us choose aligned over here. And let us dimension the thickness of the column. Alright, so once we've already created these additional dimensions here, let us select each one and click on Create Parameter over here. So this will be T1 or Thickness 1. And the group parameter will be Dimensions over here. And you won't have to change any of the other settings here. So just keep it as is and click on OK. And let's do the same over here. Click on Create Parameter. Name this T2. And make sure Dimensions is selected under Group Parameter under. Click on OK. And if you were to click on Depth or Width, you'll see that there's a drop down here. And you can actually choose between Depth, Width, or T1 or T2. So that's just something to note over here. And now let's test this column out. So I've loaded it into my Revit project over here. You can easily do so just by click on load into project like so. And let's open up a plan view over here. So it is set to level 2 but it has a top offset. So I'll just set the base as level 1 and the top at level 2 and get rid of the offset altogether. And now let's select this column here, Family 1. Click on Edit Type over here. So if you remembered from earlier, we defined dimensions T1 and T2. So you can find them over here. So let's say if you want to make this column Thinner, you can just key in a new value over here. Let's say 10 centimeters and click on apply. And the other dimensions such as depth and width will be found in other over here. So in order to move the depth and width parameters into the dimensions section, select either one and either in the modify tab or create tab, click on family types over here. So you can see our thickness dimensions here. 
So you can actually edit this parameter over here and choose the dimensions option here for group parameter under. So that's how you can group all the parameters such as dimensions all into one spot over here. And you can move it up or down for example. So you can put the thicknesses at the top and the depth and the width at the bottom. And you can click on apply and OK. So now if we head back to our project, we can just click on cancel here. If we select the column and click on edit type, you won't see the changes occur. So that's why you need to load into project again. And you need to overwrite the existing version. So selecting the column right now. And now you can see the thickness and depth and width all in one category and that is the dimensions category and that's it for today's autodesk driver tutorial if you found it useful like this tutorial share this tutorial and subscribe for more autodesk driver tutorials like this and goodbye